piece of glass, deck of cards, choose a card at random, hold the card up against the glass, but the card penetrates the glass to the other side. I am Daniel Madison and this is Card Through Glass. First thing that you need to know about this trick is that the playing card is already on the other side of the glass. The magician is able to hide that playing card thanks to video editing. There is now a mask covering up the nine of clubs so that it looks like it isn't there. The biggest thing that gave this away in the video in question is when the magician searched through the playing cards to find specifically the ace of clubs. If you could really do this, it wouldn't matter which playing card it was. That's why at the beginning of this trick, I made it look like I stopped at a random playing card. I have to stop at the nine of clubs. When I raise this playing card to the glass and cover it with my hands, the mask is removed and this playing card is then palmed away like so. Notice in the video in question, his hand drops down to his side, perfectly out of frame, allowing him to drop the playing card to the floor, showing empty hands. Now all he has to do is stand there and smile as the fat monkey removes the playing card from the glass that has been there from the start. Yes, the magician had to have access to the other side of the glass at some point. And there's a lot more to it than this. We're going to get into it in this video. Right now, let's take all of this footage into Final Cut, where I can show you how to edit this to look like real magic. So I now have all of my footage in Final Cut Pro. When I first pressed record, I stood out of the way of the glass so that I could get a piece of footage of the glass without the card behind it. So I'm gonna take a piece of that footage now and chop it out of the timeline, just the tiniest bit, and I'm gonna drag it above the rest of the timeline. That's gonna become my mask, so I'm gonna put it over the moment where I talk about video editing for the first time. The magician hides that playing card with the help of video editing. So I now need to take my footage and I'm gonna crop it. So this is the mask that I'm cropping now and I'm gonna crop it so it just covers the nine of clubs. So now you can see this square, which hides in plain sight. If I turn it off, on, off, on. So I'm gonna take that same mask and I'm gonna paste it over the moment in the explanation where I actually performed the trick to show how it works. I've got it in position just here so you can see it hides the nine of clubs. The real work comes in now as my hand raises up to cover that nine of clubs. I'm no expert at video editing and this is the only way that I could figure out how to do this. Frame by frame, as the tips of my fingers go underneath that mask, at this point, instead of cropping because I can only crop in straight lines and I want it to look really fair, I'm gonna go over to my installed effects and search graduated mask and I'm gonna drag that on top of the mask itself. If I grab that graduated mask over and pull it and align it so that I can now fade that nine of clubs in one frame at a time. If I move on one frame more, then my fingers move further behind the mask. So I just have to keep nudging that gradual mask up and aligning it so that it shows my fingers without showing the playing card. But I know that when I go to cover that nine of clubs, I know I'm moving fast enough to create enough motion blur so that even if you were to pause it at any point, nothing would be seen. If I spent a lot more time on this, I could make this look so much more fair by adding more graduated masks. The moment that I know that my hands have completely covered up that nine of clubs on the other side of the glass, I can just turn the mask off. So if we go back a few seconds now and watch as the mask comes into play, you can see just how deceptive this really is. Edit just like this. So the so mask came in, it served its purpose, and then I got rid of it, and it gives this perfect illusion that the card went from my hands penetrating the other side of the glass, especially when I palm that playing card away. This trick is completely impractical. It only works on film. However, there are so many methods out there to achieve this in real life. I teach a few of them on my YouTube channel. I also teach a few in more detail at the Malliance, Madison.ist. Art is a lie that tells the truth. Magic is a truth that tells a lie. Why do we believe that video? One, it's a monkey, it's an animal, it's an innocent, being doesn't know any better so it doesn't need to react it's a real moment at least as far as 
the monkey experience, is it? But it's easy to believe because it's clever and he doesn't look like a magician. He doesn't pitch himself as a magician. It's not like, hey, you want to see a trick? Let me show you something. Pick any card. No, he's just choosing the playing card and it goes through the glass and then that's the end of it. He's removed the prestige, which makes it look more realistic. For magic to be more believable, we have to invite more reality. And this situation looks like a real situation. And that's why so many people believed it. And that's why it truly is a beautiful piece of magic. If you analyze every part of that video frame by frame, you can see everything that I've shown you in this video. There are few discrepancies in the reflection of the, of the glass. There's a tree behind this. Um, moves differently all of a sudden and the magic starts to reveal itself when you zoom in on the moment on the place where that ace of clubs was behind the glass. I used the same tricks that he did. I made it look like the camera was handheld but I'm on my own. The camera's on a tripod but making it look like it's moving in the edit gives that illusion very subtly and on a very good subconscious level that somebody's holding the camera. Because we assume it's a zoo and he's just a regular visitor, it's so easy to believe that he's just there visiting on a day trip to see a big fat monkey. But I would take a guess that this guy loves magic, he, he isn't a professional, he's very clever at editing and he has something to do with the zoo. Now my intentions aren't to destroy something or rip something apart or even expose something even though that's what I'm doing. I'm a professor, a teacher, a mentor of magic, sleight of hand and the deceptive arts. My whole YouTube channel is about teaching magic. Since I released Breach two years ago, my card through table, which you can do in real life for real people, no video editing. Since that video went up, the most common question I get is how did the guy put the card through the window for the big fat monkey? And this is how he did it. If you want to take a deeper dive into everything that I covered in this video, head over to themalliancemadison.ist. Make sure you subscribe for more lessons in magic. I'm Daniel Madison. See you next time.